Hey guys, welcome back to another Default Cube CG Matter tutorial, and today I want to go over something that's pretty simple but has some good core fundamentals, and that is making any block that is in the game Minecraft. It pretty much is that simple. I'm going to talk about how to do it without using add-ons and plugins and all this kind of like BS uh, methods that don't teach you anything. I'm going to show you the actual method, and before we actually hop into Blender, we're going to need some textures of whatever block you want. So if you need a stone block, you need a stone texture or whatever. And there's a website, if you don't want to, you know, download uh, texture packs from wherever, there's a website that has all the default assets. And if I remember, I'm going to link it in the description, and you can see they have, like, all these different kinds of textures. So, for example, I mean, I haven't played the game in a while, so I don't know what most of these blocks are, but let's say the cake... Uh, this is the top of the cake, you know, it's, it's, that one's actually not a cube, it has a different shape, but this is the texture for the top of it, and you can scroll all the way down, and then download a zip file of everything, and that is the kind of, like, texture pack I'm going to be using, so, that opened in the wrong, uh, screen, so, uh, let's just pick a block and then make it. I am familiar with a stone block, so I'm just going to pick, I guess there's so many stones, you have cracked stone, you have, like, stone, uh, bricks, you have smooth stone, um, I guess it really doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick the standard one. So I'm just going to copy this texture. And the same principles apply for pretty much any kind of block because they're all the same. So once you have your texture, which again, because it's Minecraft, that is the size of the texture, this tiny, tiny thing. If we zoom in, we can almost start seeing it. Uh, once you have that, we're going to open up Blender. I'm using version 2.81 once it actually opens. And then the first thing we need to do is start modeling. Whoops. We need to start modeling our cube. Done. <laughs> that There you go. And now we just need to texture it. So, yeah, obviously this is going to be pretty easy. Of course, um, if you don't want the default cube, you can add a bit of bevel or something if you want kind of like a smooth block. But we're doing the standard traditional cube. Then what you're going to want to do is go to the shading workspace. This is where we're going to do our texturing, and I'm going to assume you don't have too much experience with this. So I'm just going to say some of the hotkeys I'm pressing. Uh, we're going to take this node, which is the BSDF. We don't need it for now. Click X to delete it, and then Shift A to add or go here. And then, again, so either go here or just use the hotkey Shift A. And I'm going to type in image texture, since we want an image texture node, which we are going to plug into the surface. Let me just make that bigger. And then we need to open and select our texture. For me, that's on the desktop stone. And you can see that it's been applied. So before we had black because we had nothing. Now we have our stone. And you can see that there are probably a hundred issues with this. Uh, main ones being that it kind of looks nothing like stone. It kind of looks like a smooth gray texture. And second of all, it's not really the same on all sides, really. And we're going to talk about both those things. So first of all, uh, what What's happening with this smoothing out? It doesn't look like you can see the individual pixels. And this is just something Blender does. It's actually a feature, not a bug. Of um, This is an issue of low resolution textures when you put them in Blender. And remember, like we said, like we said, the Minecraft textures are like 16 by 16 pixels. Let's see the information on this. Yeah, 16 by 16 pixels. So it's a very, this is pretty much as low res as it gets. And you can see it's not actually applying it correctly. And what it's doing is it's actually interpolating, meaning like adding new information between the pixels to kind of smooth it out. But since there are so few pixels, pretty much the whole result uh, ends up looking interpolated. So what you're going to do is from linear interpolation, which is what you have it set at now, uh, we're going to change it to closest, which you can think of as it's just going to inherit the color of whatever pixel uh, is occupying that space. In other words, it's not going to do any fancy stuff. It's just going to pull from the image, and there you go. And now you can see that it's looking, you know, a bit better. You can see the pixelation kind of looks Minecrafty, uh, but this doesn't look like the uh, stone block. Um, there should be many more pixels, 16 by 16 on each uh, face. And this is because... Um, this texture, even though we can't see it, I'll uh, open it up. It's using our UV um, UV coordinates, so our UV map. And if we, I, I mean, we can either do it from here. We can either go into edit mode and switch this from, uh, what is this, image editor to UV editor to see our unwrap. Or we can just go to the, what am I looking for, UV editing workspace, which is pretty much the same thing. 
uh, you can see that our unwrap of the cube, how we made it uh, two-dimensional, so we put the texture on it and then we wrap it back up. Uh, that is in the standard T-pose, as if you were to cut the cube and flatten it. Whereas instead, we want this whole texture, the whole like 16 by 16 pixel thing on every side of the cube, right? Um, it's, it's weird, but that's how Minecraft does it. So what we need to do is pretty much, you know, pick each one of these faces and, you know, scale it up so it's taking up the whole thing. Of course, this isn't how we do it. Uh, but if we did it, you can see that now this face has uh, more texture than everything else. So um, let me just go to edit mode. Uh, the way we can do it, whatever, I'm, I'm not going to undo it. Just imagine that it's not there. Uh, the way we fix this is we just select everything by clicking A. So now we have all our UV faces. Hit uh, F3 or spacebar, depending on, you know, if you changed your hotkeys or whatever. And then we're going to type in reset. And we're going to choose the reset that is for uh, UVs, so this one. And what it basically does is it takes each face and just stretches it out so it takes up the whole canvas, right? Which normally is not what you want, but in this case, you can see now we have something that kind of looks like stone. And then the only other issue, if I remember correctly, again, I haven't played the game in a while, uh, the texture should be rotated 90 degrees, so you can either, you know, rotate the cube itself to fix that, but if we don't want to do that and mess with the orientation, what we need to do is, again, go into edit mode. And then with our UVs, we already have them all selected. So we need to click R to rotate. And you can see, you know, this effectively does what we want it to. So I'm just going to rotate it by type in 90 degrees. And boom, that that's pretty much the essence of it. And the reason I say that this is pretty much every block in Minecraft, because, of course, there are some exceptions, like some of them have transparency, like grass or whatever is in general, most blocks, you can just swap out the texture. So let me just pick another one, like blue wool. I'm just going to copy that texture to my desktop. Again, 16 by 16 pixel nonsense. And then back in Blender, all we have to do now, since we have our UV map set up, we have our interpolation set to closest, uh, you just uh, click this folder, or you can first delete the texture and then click open, whatever you want. And now I'm going to pick the new texture, which is our blue wool already has it on closest, and you can see that everything is working properly. Now, if we go into rendered mode, right now we're in Eevee, uh, you can see that it you know, looks fine, but our light, our lamp, isn't actually affecting anything. Like, we don't see shadow or some area more illuminated than other areas. And that's because we're pretty much taking this texture and just putting it on the surface. We're not saying do any light calculations, just show the color of the texture. So if we want, you know, good lighting and everything, uh, just add in. You could do a bunch of things. You could do a diffuse BSDF or principled BSDF. I'm going to recommend, let's just do principled. Diffuse would be fine, but let's just put that in there. And now you can see, whoops, so again, I just put it in between. Now you can see the light actually affects things. So we have some areas in shadow, some areas are brighter than others. And yeah, that means it reacts to lighting. Again, there are some exceptions uh, to this technique, uh, like we need to do something a bit different if we make a lamp, like the, um, I forget what the name of the block is in Minecraft, the yellow one that glows that you find in the nether or whatever. Uh, sorry, I don't know. But um, that one, you need to do some emission stuff. Uh, again, some of them need transparency. Some of them aren't, you know, even cubes, like, you know, they're more like half blocks or whatever. But yeah, that is the standard method to do it. So hopefully you understood everything. This is kind of like an introductory tutorial, but I guess not too many people know about the closest interpolation mode. So maybe, maybe everybody, let me switch cameras, uh, maybe everybody learned something in this tutorial. So hopefully you got what you wanted out of this. If you want to support me, Patreon is, I'll say the only way to do that. So if you want to become a patron, that would be greatly appreciated. Uh, you're doing it to benefit me. You know, it's a donation. I really appreciate it. But of course, you also get benefits, but I don't want to misconstrue it. It's, it's a donation. So if you want to help me out, that is the way to do it. But otherwise, the tutorial's free. Enjoy it. Thanks for watching. See ya.